Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the birth number three with life path four and also the life path 22. So birth number three, we all know, is about Jupiter. It's about expansion, growth, creativity, artistic, and being very disciplined. The number four is a very methodical number that's all about um, organization, being very, um, I'd say, meticulous. Um, this can also be a very chaotic number for people. It caused a lot of chaos in their life, especially their early life, especially when it falls under as a life path, meaning when it's your Phaedic number, um, this really has a very, very enhanced effect on you. And it makes your life sort of feel like a living hell at first, but you have to make sort of order out of chaos and that's your life lesson. So with that being said, when you have a birth number three with life path four, these are the type of people that tend to, they need a sense of um, direction for their really great skills. They have amazing communication skills. They can be very, very influential in the political and the business sphere. Um, main occupation for these guys like arbitrators, auditors, people that conduct magazines, um, different publishers, anything to do with like writing or the general public, liaisons, that's what's going to do very well for these people because they are so much able to influence others. Um, they, they can sometimes be viewed as arrogant. Uh, they're very, very smart. But even if it's for good or bad reasons, they will be on the lips of everybody around them. They're very popular in their social networks. Uh, they're considered to be like sort of like a funnel of information. You can go to them and find out what's going on in your community, whether that be like if you're a sort of rap person about the rap community or if you want to know about something in politics, if you want to know about things that are happening in your, even your own neighborhood. These are the type of people that are just going to know about what's going on. For some reason, they, they really gather information very quickly and they're very, very effective at gathering information and then using it um, sort of to monetize. Or if they're not really following their life path, they're sort of just going to use it in kind of just be there with it nothing really comes out of it and that's the problem so the important thing is to make sure that once you are doing things like this uh, monetize your information like if you're going to go on youtube you might as well talk about stuff and get paid for it. if you're going to um, have all this novelty all this knowledge write a book publish work for a company um, start a blog start a vlog do anything that you want to do but make sure that what you're doing is going to actually make you money and make a career out of it because you have the number three which is all about expansion, growth, being famous, creativity, then the number four is going to enhance that. The number four is going to make you something who's very knowledgeable as well. So on top of your great charisma and charm, you have the knowledge and the rigorousness of the number four to actually bring these things to a reality. That's why this makes such a powerful combination for people and they're able to get ahead very, very quickly uh, with these said numbers. The numbers two, six, seven, and eight can be very um, detrimental to them. The number two just isn't that great um, with the number four mix. The six, of course, with the three. The seven um, with number four doesn't work that great. And then the eight as a name number just never really works. So you want to make sure you're avoiding those sort of sums in your name number combination. Or as your name number as a whole, you want to make sure it doesn't have that as the equation. Um, that includes the number 11 as well. It's not going to work out well for you guys. It'll make you have, be a little bit too emotionally volatile. Uh, directionless and maybe just not be that disciplined towards uh, your career and so forth this can even lead to detriments in personal relations and intimacy as well so be very wary of that lucky gems are golden sapphire and amethyst and good colors was like yellow and blue green is very good as well it can work quite well for you guys specifically and things such as like i said speaking writing commissions those things work well for you guys but things such as like arbitration, uh, mediating, liaisons, whatever it may be that's bring people together or you're providing information to the general public, that's where you shine the most. Some politicians do this as well, but you guys are more so like a bridge of communication where it depends like where you go in any sort of organization or government entity because you're the person that's really supposed to be bridging that information and making sure the general public understands what's being said. You're the interpreter right? And that's where you guys actually shine the most and make the most money. That's how you guys get rich. So that's the thing. You guys can be the type of people that make up stories or, or start doing different things that um, give information to the general public, but then you could end up becoming like the owner of a newspaper or a magazine. That's where you guys shine the highest and that's where you'll get the most rewards from the universe. Uh, for lucky names in particular, you want three and one. Uh, three is going to enhance your creativity. One will enhance your leadership abilities. And I, I really recommend the one, like having a name number in like uh, 10, 19, or 37, uh, just spe specific, yeah, specifically because it's going to make you guys have that leadership capability where you already have the creativity with the three, 
you already have the smarts, the IQ, the knowledge with the four. So having that one there that sort of complements both the three and the four make you guys have that uh, versatile outlook on life where you're able to be a leader, you're able to manage things, you're able to delegate tasks to other people, but you have the ability to do it yourself. For one, because the number four, you're a very detail-oriented person. And the number three makes you a very creative and outspoken and expressive person. All right. So all of those put together will make you a very powerful individual. Um, days to conduct your business or start new businesses are the, sort of the same. Uh, the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th will work very well for you guys. Also, the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st, the 30th will work extremely well for you guys as well, especially if you're doing any sort of business related to the arts or writing. All right. But that should conclude this video, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, just please let me know in the comments. But aside from that, like, subscribe. Holla me. It's over today, guys. Peace.